welcome to, uh, uh, you know, uh, day three of, uh, nine years and nine days of contact. Today we're playing RuneScape. Um, so the first thing that we did was, uh, looked around, we're in the Grand Exchange. Oh look, there's a, uh, a key thing. So we're gonna do that. We got some bloody, uh, thingies, so we're gonna pop those and we're just gonna level up as much shit as we could. That's already low level, so I think we went with fishing. Yeah, so I'm gonna speed this up and just get us to the quest, you know? It's all just mundane, leveling up bullshit. And I don't think you need to know that. And in, in the side, I had to buy armor, and then I got stuck because I didn't realize the set thing was in the Grand Exchange, so I went around to all these people. Um, I kind of got lost here, so it was just a bunch of bullshit until I realized oh, I'm just gonna go with this quest. We went with the beneath, I think it's been missing presumed death, dead. So that's what we went with, and we're on our way now. I'll cut to uh, you know, us getting there. I decided to uh, scale this so you could get the full experience of seeing me click through text files. We talked to this old fella, and he tells us that his brothers have died and they don't have any uh, toil to the death. Death didn't come and collect the souls. It was kind of lazy of him to do so, but we kind of realized that death has gone somewhere. But we don't, we, at first we think that this was an assassin from elves and pesky elves have come over and started shooting people with arrows tipped with crystals. So we're gonna go try and figure out uh, the quest after we talk to Zon Man, which I'm gonna skip through. We take the pre the priest's uh, uh, quest and we start looking for clues. We're gonna figure out what the fuck happened here and why the souls aren't leaving. We do a vile case for a bit, investigating, doing Cluedo and RuneScape, and we listen to the uh, poorly voice acted RuneScape ghosts, which is kind of a nice task because it used to not be voice acting in RuneScape. It used to just be text and moaning, going mumble, 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 which is all right for a game back in the day. But these days, you need a voice acting to really pull the children in. But then again, no children's playing RuneScape because RuneScape is kind of not popular. Well, it is popular at the same time as it's not Fortnite popular. Anyway, we investigate everything. We find everything that we need. And we, we continue on. We find the last piece of this puzzle after mindlessly waiting there for 12 minutes and go back and talk to the priest. He tells us that there's evidence that the guy probably walked up the uh, hill. We go find some witnesses and all that shit. We find the elf's ranger's body, which is kind of strange for an elf assassin that kind of, you know, was meant to be the best or some bullshit like that. That's not at least what the priest said. He said it was pure evil, and I just don't really think that. Elves are kind of fucking dumb. He then tells us that he has an old friend that's in the wizard tower. We have to go to the fucking scary fucking area of RuneScape Dor Dorm 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 I don't fucking know. What am I, a RuneScape player? Aren't I meant to not ever know how to actually say fantasy words? Bloody say Varrock for fuck's sakes. Anyway, we head there. After a few moments of trying to navigate our way up to the Wizard's Tower, we make it to the Wizard's Tower and we try and find the uh, lady. But the Wizard's Tower is as barren as bloody anything in these days in the pandemic. Well, uh, before the pandemic ended, well, before the lockdown procedures ended, and you know, we just go around trying to figure it out until I find the bloody old person up in the bloody stand looking over everything. 
Look at her, she, she probably just walked, looked at me, walked in and went, oh yeah, you know, this guy is just in here for no fucking reason. We talked to her about, you know, our quest and all that shit. And she says that, you know, elves are very particular with their crystals. And probably wasn't an elf that really did it, but maybe even the gods being gods. And it could have been, uh, whatever the main god, one of the main gods. Oh god, one of the main gods, uh, bloody said. So, you know, maybe one of the main gods did it as well. Salandum, Salabusa, whatever the fuck his name is called. Who knows, RuneScape lore is pretty fucking weird. Anyway, we head back to the, the, the uh, we're gonna head back to the priest guy and explain ourselves to him. And you know, something fucked up might actually happen once we start explaining shit to him. Because you know, this is just a RuneScape quest about gods. What, what else can happen? So we get invited to a god party once this god comes out of the scram and starts talking to us like we're the suspect of all shit that's going down. The gold priest comes just shivers in fear as this guy comes out of the ground. And then we fight some rites that are basically just bloody zombies, but they have swords and shit. They fight us and, you know, the god questions that why the fuck are we around? We then talk to some masked cunt that is very sketch and uh, we, you know, tell him to fuck off, but then we decide that we should go to his party anyway. We might be able to fucking save death. And you know, saving death would actually help the world because this is kind of ramification shit. What if death actually was in prison forever? We wouldn't even be able to go into the afterlife. So, you know, we have to go and help. So that's what we do. And by God, this is a boy party. All the gods and their servants are here, but the servants have to wait outside because they're not worthy enough to go in. We then have to do some puzzles, and this puzzles bullshit is pretty fucking boring. So I skip past it a lot, but I also skip past like 30 minutes of bloody content. We're not here to do a playthrough, I'm just telling you what happens. We go do it through this thing and do some lot of puzzles while there's cutscenes happening of uh, what the gods are doing and all that bullshit. They're all bickering and being gaudy and being bitter to each other. I feel like there's a lot of lore here. Lore that I don't fucking know. Because I'm not a RuneScape nerd. Well, at least I'm not a RuneScape lore nerd. I love RuneScape and it's one of my favourite games. It's one of my staples of my childhood, along with Civilization V and Minecraft, Call of Duty, all those types of games. But RuneScape really did go for it. It did define a, l a big section of my life, and it's helped with a lot of my bullshit. And you know, it's always great to go and do some bullshit fucking grinding. So, you know, shit happens and the gods are pretty fucking mad at each other. And this guy in the mask isn't really fucking helping. He's a bit of a cunt. And he shows it off by, you know, fucking being a prick. And I'm fucking hiccuping here because I've had water and I really don't feel well. Comment down below if you don't feel well. And if
boss to the test, which is kind of my fault. And I kind of realized that the fire was, you know, needed to be stamped out in order for me to rescue Dad. Death then saves the day, and we all are party back down to the wall around. Death is reinstalled, I get a bunch of shit, and I head back to the grand stage. I then exchange those uh, gifts, and, well, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and if you did not like this, uh, video, then I don't know what you are. I'm not a RuneScape fan. You're just randomly here. But if you did enjoy this video, thank you for watching. Maybe like it or subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, comment here saying whether or not you play RuneScape or not. And if you haven't, maybe you should sign up. It's, I'm not even sponsored. I am just love this game. I've owned this game for, like, so many years since 2009 and it's been out longer like it, this is just a good game like obviously there's two versions of runescape there's runescape 3 which is what we played just here and runescape old school old school is pretty much old graphics and they've got a lot of content getting pumped into it as well as runescape 3 i like both versions they both have flaws and they both are pretty all right so if you like to like free games and want to not be playing a shitty anime bullshit like Gunson Impact or um, like Elder Scrolls Online or GTA Online, you should just get on to RuneScape. RuneScape's pretty good, it's free, and well, yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna stop narrating. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Thank you for watching day three of these uh, content shit, and uh, make sure you come back for tomorrow. We're gonna be ranting about something in ten minutes, and then the day after that we've got something. I don't know what it is. I'm, what am I keeping schedule? <laughs>